Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Avery, and I wanted to showcase this game engine. It's written in Go. It's called Oak. Oak is a game engine where there's no GUI or anything, like some other game engines you might be familiar with. It's all code, um, similar to other game engines that we've covered here on the channel, including Raylib, which is, we're doing a tutorial series on how to use this last couple weeks. If you guys are from there, uh, thanks again for watching all that stuff, and if you guys are interested in learning Raylib, check out that. But today we're going to be looking at Oak. Oak has been in development since 2016. I think it's all being developed by a single person. He has his blog right here where he keeps updates about what he's worked on. Um, the updates aren't all the time, but he's still constantly working on things. So his last blog post was in February talking about some new features that he's worked on. But it does include a lot of stuff. There's window management, image rendering, there's even a particle system, there's mouse handling and joyst uh, joystick support and keyboard and audio. And his, one of his most re his recent things is working on audio. And he's done some basic collision and some basic physics. And the event handler is for the keyboard and whatnot. So just open up your own text editor and a terminal. You can do this in VS Code or anything. I'll just make a directory call it oak and we'll hop in there and we'll do go mod init main so we just created our go mod and we'll also create a new file call it main.go and in main.go we're going to want to do some basic things to set up a basic oak program I'll just open this in here so it's a little bit easier to see. So here's a bunch of examples on how to do everything, but we'll just be creating a window in this video and we'll want to import the oak package. And for that, I guess I'll just go here and copy that. That's probably going to copy the HTTPS. Yep, it will. So it's going to be github.com slash oakman slash oak. And the second one is, so this is version 4 actually, and here we're going to have a scene. We're going to have to initialize a scene to have for the game basically. And then that's all we're going to need to import, and then we'll just create our main function. And in our main function, we'll just do oak, and we'll do add scene, and it's going to be like that. And we're going to put some stuff in there, and then we'll do oak in it and we'll call the name of our scene like that. So now that we're in here, we can call the name of our scene also, first scene. We're just setting it, not calling it. Then scene, then scene, just like that. And then this will be closed in and there. And here's a start. And then I'll start funk. And then to get a pointer to the scene's context, and this is just going to be what happens within the scene. Uh, basically, it's going to be the drawing and everything that happens within it. But that should be everything that we need. We import the oak, we import the scene library, and we add a scene, we say its name, and then we declare things within the scene, including this start function. And then we initialize the scene. So I'll do go mod tidy, and that should get all these packages if in case you don't have them and then we'll do go run dot and that's not going to build anything it should just run it okay let's look at line 12 line 12 needs a comma all right here we have it that was pretty fast so this is our window um that's kind of just a basic uh just for creating a window it's a window management there's a lot more features and there's a lot more that can be done so we look in here, there's a bunch of example stuff. We can look at this platformer, we can look at Flappy Bird as well. And we just go to the main go for both of these. These ones don't use any images, so it's easy just to try them out. So here we're in the platformer. I'm just gonna copy the code and we're just gonna make a file called platform.go. I'll close that. And then for Flappy Bird, copy the code and I'll paste that in flappy.go. So let's do go run platformer. 
and here we have it. Here's the sample platformer. And it's pretty basic, but uh, it's pretty good. It uses some of the physics from the engine as well, which as you can see work uh, basically as you'd expect them to. I tried this flappy one before. It's a... Uh, I don't really enjoy it. And that's not because I don't enjoy Flappy Bird. It's that this game isn't made super well. But that's just because of the mechanic of the game. The game engine works fine. It could just be changed up a little bit to run a little better. But I mean, I know Flappy Bird was kind of an annoying game. And <laughs> this one is just as annoying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's everything. I didn't look at any of the other sample ones. But that's because you know you need to download some files and whatnot to look at some of the games. So here's just some examples that you can look through the code. And here's some actual games that use it. They're all kind of basic games, but uh, you know, it's not a popular engine or anything. So if you're interested in making your own game, I bet you can even get it showcased on here. And there's a game template to kick off a large game project. You start with the game template. So we can actually go and look at that real quick. Um, so here's the game template right here. It's its own repository and it basically has everything for getting started with your own game. If you look at the main.go, it includes everything from Oakman and in the main function it has some debugging stuff and some basic functions and some information on your screen, some error checking, and I bet it just creates the window, but it's a little bit more complex. But I bet anyone can go through here and figure out a lot of this stuff easily. Let's actually clone it. So it'll be git clone. As it even says right here. Okay. Um, it's called a mage file. I get your mage. I'm not sure what that is. Make project name replacement. Um, I guess mage is for running stuff, but uh, maybe we don't need that. CD game template and go run. Maybe we're not going to have everything. Maybe we should have done the tidy. Oh, here it is. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it really does too much. But as you can see, it's looping through your scene. You even added your little character, similar to the one that was in the platformer. And you have all the code. Um, I guess I'll check out this made stuff, but I'm sure you can look into it to see what it is as well. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a tool for making projects. But it looks like, and as you can see, I was able to run the project fairly easily. But if you guys are interested in this, then go ahead and check it out. All the links for everything will be in the description, as always. And if you guys end up making your own games or have your own projects, feel free to share them in the comments. And if you guys end up wanting to have some sort of tutorial where we can learn about the Oak Engine together, um, we can probably do that sometime in the future. Thanks for watching and see you guys again next time. Bye.